Welcome to Upsides. Today we're talking about 2017 NFL free agency. I'm Matt Ufford, joined by my pals Alex Rubenstein and Will Bukema. Uh, before we start, if you like our faces, or even if you don't, uh, check us out Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to be live on YouTube, Facebook, all the social medias, live for like four or five hours for the entirety of the NFL Draft. Come join us. It's going to be a great time. But today, free agency. The biggest move was Pro Bowl quarterback Tony Romo who went to CBS. He could have gone to Denver, he could have gone to Houston and instantly become a favorite to uh, go deep into the playoffs. He chose CBS. I can't say I blame him. As, as, a, as another man in his late 30s with back problems, I don't need J.J. Watt hitting this what's left of my spinal column. It's guaranteed that he'll eventually make it to a Super Bowl. Mike Glennon was signed by the Bears. The Bears uh, let Jay Cutler, sorry, Jay Butler walk. Um, nail Clanked. It. I'm the just, first first person to tell that joke. Do you know if you enhance a few times on his butt photo, there's a cigarette right in between the cheeks. What happened was he said, Hey, Kristen, can you take, take my picture? But he kept just facing the camera, and she was like, I can't, we're not going to be able to post this. Jay, your huge hog is taking up all the camera. Huge, unvaccinated hog. Hope Andrew Belfield was able to hear that one. <laughs> we're just... The show slowly transformed to a speaking directly to YouTube commenters. No, you know what? F it. Is that I good? got, is I that got loud something to say. You, Andrew, Andrew Belfield, if you can hear this. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, Geno Smith to the Giants. The Giants took a look at the free agent class. We could get Colin Kaepernick or Robert Griffin III. No, let's go with Geno Smith. What would be the craziest story if Eli went down? Bring, bring, bring that back up in. Or gets locked up for memorabilia fraud. Oh, <laughs> Eli Manning, you dirty bird. <laughs> I just hate the, the light that this is shining on like everyone else who's selling memorabilia. Because like I've had a lot of eBay comments asking if the boxers that I'm selling are the ones I wore. And yes, they're always the ones I wore on upsides. Mm. <laughs> Show-worn boxers. Show-worn boxers. Up next, running backs. Some big running back news. I think the biggest story is the uh, ongoing drama that has been Marshawn Lynch to the Raiders. Ever since the rumbling started seemed inevitable, but as we shoot this, it still hasn't officially happened. I think it's, it's actually him signing a one-year contract for the Raiders last year in Oakland. If he could bring them a Super Bowl, like come out of retirement just to bring help them bring a Super Bowl to Oakland in their final year. That'd be pretty rad. So I'm I'm all in on Marshawn having a great season with the Raiders. Before they ship him off to the desert to die. Speaking of Seahawks running backs, they have added Eddie Lacy to their roster. Hey! He naturally has a weight clause. It blows my mind that it's 2017 and we still have weight clauses. Like, they have a, a full medical facility and team of doctors that could give them all sorts of advanced metrics on, on body physique. But it's like, no, let's have Eddie Lacy try to shed 10 pounds of water weight before the game. Let's see how that works. It's surprising they didn't do that in Wisconsin. Wide receivers and tight ends, not really the sexiest class of uh, free agent wide receivers. I'd say the biggest name was Alshon Jeffrey, only signing a one-year contract to uh, catch balls from Carson Wentz. On the Philly side, any warm body is an upgrade. Yeah, uh, the Eagles, after an entire season where people not even tried and true and trusted experts like myself, but even casual fans were noticing that the Eagles wide receivers were trash. The 49ers have not only remade themselves at quarterback with Brian Hoyer and Matt Barkley, but have also added Pierre Garçon, uh, a great blocker. He did have the best year of his career under Kyle Shanahan, worth noting. Mm-hmm, and Marquise Goodwin as well. He's just fast. He's a runner. He's he's fast. <laughs> <laughs> what a trash team. Be nice. They still have Jeremy Curley? Yeah. Hey! hey. Yeah. Washington lost Pierre Garçon, but they added Terrell Pryor. Which, why would Cleveland have not kept it, especially that contract they gave Kenny Britt, and Pryor's way better. Ugh. You know, Kenny Britt, just he's a great teammate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Other wide receiver news, Steve Smith finally retired to begin his second career of punching babies. No, no, breaking news. He retired and instantly started breaking wide receiver news. He overnight became like the fifth best NFL reporter. And you know why? Because if you don't give him the scoop, 
He gonna punch you. He gonna give you the scoop. The only tight end of note is uh, Martellus Bennett to Green Bay. He fits the Packers tight end mold of like look really good and then get hurt week six. Up next, offensive line. Oh, stay with me, stay with me, don't go away. Oh, we lost everybody with the O-line. They are super boring. Yeah, it happens. Andrew Whitworth to the Los Angeles Rams. Sure, fine. Kevin Zeitler from, oh, the Browns signed somebody in free agency. Browns will actually have a good O-line outside of right tackle, but... It's smart, man. Figure out your offensive line and the rest of the team first, and then, then get the quarterback. Johnny Manziel just needs the right line. I think he's found his preferred line. <laughs> What'd I say? I think you got that one right on the nose. <laughs> Let's talk about some uh, defense now. Yay. Defensive Yay. signings. Yeah. Pff, man, there's a show drag with the O-line. Calais Campbell to Jacksonville. This is the year. This is the year, it's finally gonna happen. The Jaguars are gonna have an awesome defense. Six and 10 tops. They're Rams East. Don Terry Poe to Atlanta. They could definitely use the help on the defensive line. That's a great signing, I think. Is there any correlation with Atlanta roads falling apart and Don Terry Poe now being on that cement? I feel like that the infrastructure of Atlanta was held together by that 28 to three lead. And that when that fell apart, that's like removed the skeleton key and the entire city is now sinking into the earth. Julius Peppers went back to Carolina. So uh, bad news about those uh, Peppers jerseys. You banned their, pan or you burned <laughs> Panthers fans. You banned, burned. I guess if they banned them, they could just take them out of storage. But if they burnt them, yeah, you're gonna have to buy new ones. Uh, the one move I like, Connor Barwin back with Wade Phillips. Uh, he had 11 and a half sacks their first year oh, together in Houston. Man, so. I just don't like how good the Rams defense is gonna be. Wade Phillips be is so good. good. Those t players are so talented. Ah. Oh. The Rams are gonna win games like four to three. And you'll have to watch the whole thing because yeah. it'll be against the Seahawks. Uh, Dwight Freeney is still an unrestricted free agent. 39 years old now, 38. His hair is like Barack Obama in year seven of the presidency. Manti Teo to New Orleans. Oh man. Love this move. New Orleans is a city that's, uh, that's never taken advantage of a global person before, so that should work out just fine. And Manti being in one of America's most haunted cities, he'll have a good chance to find love. And let's talk about some uh, some big names, cornerbacks who change teams. AJ Bouye. Boye. Bouye. Bouye. <laughs> Bouye. To the Jaguars. That's a team that's stacked with great defensive players. He's, a, he's a great corner, but 56 million fully guaranteed to him and Campbell. They're trying to buy a championship. It's not going to work. It's the Jaguars. No team with Blake Bortles at quarterback is trying to buy a championship. But what they've bought is a team that is stacked with great defensive players. Oh, I hate this move because it's a really good one. Uh, Stephon Gilmore signed by the Patriots. The Patriots signed Stephon Gilmore, uh, let Logan Ryan walk to Tennessee. That's a huge upgrade for them. <sighs> All right, so that's our free agency roundup. Uh, my grade for every move is F minus. F minus. Every team that was active in free agency failed its fan base. Except yours. Except Your yours. team did great. Your team Super Bowl bound. Perfect. Oh. Okay, couldn't have played it any better. Thanks for watching, and if you're watching this before the draft happens, ooh, tune in to uh, SB Nation on Thursday night. We are live for like the entirety of the first round of the draft. We're gonna lose our minds like five hours yeah. on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitch, on Bing. If you don't know how to find us, well, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and leave us comments. You might just make the show next week. Woo!